Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I bring you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Hugh Jackson's beef with the Cleveland Browns. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at where they are right now, the Cleveland Browns are being called out by former head coach Hugh Jackson. And you're seeing exactly how uh, he's calling them out. He's saying basically he was lied to. Basically, he was told one thing and it was totally another thing behind closed doors. And you're looking at the analytics, the analytics that he's referring to in football. You have football analytics and you have regular analytics. So there are different systems in which players are graded, in which plays are called, in which things are done in order to see if you can have better success on the football field. Um, and in that, you know, Hugh Jackson is saying that he was lied to by management. He was lied to by ownership in the direction of what they were doing. He said that they basically knew they were tearing this team down and they didn't tell him he was used as a scapegoat and they were trying to use an experiment, if you will. So Hugh Jackson's beef is saying as a black head coach, he didn't have a fair shake or a fair opportunity. Um, Hugh Jackson, you know, at this point, I think you just got to let it go. I think that uh, your performance throughout the entirety of your tenure with the Cleveland Browns was terrible overall, regardless of if they were tearing team downs or not. Um, your performance as a head coach was putrid. Um, when you're looking at you as a coordinator, when you look at what you've done in Cincy, what you look at what you've done in Oakland, and when it was the Oakland Raiders, it, it you you had pretty good work there. You had pretty good work in different places. But we have to understand, as a head coach, it takes a lot more than just doing offensive coordinator work. You have to be able to help the defense. You have to be able to help the offense. You have to be able to chime in on things. Uh, help with play calls sometimes. Make decisions on the football field, and you fail big time at that. So let's just be honest. You know, the Cleveland Browns have moved on. I believe three coaches since you've left. They're having a pretty good success with uh, Kevin Stefanski right now. So it's it's at this point, it's water under the bridge. It's not like you just got fired yesterday. It's not like it just happened yesterday. So we have to understand. I know he's speaking out for other minority coaches so they know and understand what's going on. But you got to understand, your performance also went to you not having a job at the moment. So um, what do you guys think? I, I feel how I feel. I told you how I felt. Leave your comments in the comment section. Also, definitely check out Sports Choice Plus on the YouTube page. Make sure you hit the Facebook channel. I'm going to put that link in the description now. And as always, thank you so very much. We'll see you on the next video.